right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, folks. Today we're gonna to be cycling up to the tiny town of Beaverton, Ontario, which is quite northeast from where I live. We're currently heading eastbound here on Van Dorp Side Road. Now we're gonna get up to Beaverton via the Trans-Canada Trail and the Beaver River Wetland Trail. That's gonna take us to a street called Linden Valley Road, I believe. And then from there, we're just gonna take some quite old back roads towards and to the township or town of Beaverton, Ontario. So, folks, stay tuned for this epic adventure. Oh yeah, today is also Saturday, August the 20th in the year 2022. Join me as we embark on yet another adventure.
Junction. Once we reach the Blackwater Junction, we're then going to transition to the left of the trail, which then turns into the Beaver River Wetland Trail. We're going to take that to roughly Woodville, Ontario. And then from there, we're going to take some back roads all the way to Beaverton. Hopefully, we'll uh, find a spot there for lunch. Maybe we'll even check out a beach. So stay tuned for that. This is going to be a beautiful portion of the ride coming right up. so beautiful out here folks oh so beautiful check out the landscapes we're surrounded by beautiful woodlands also marching areas very very pristinely beautiful I say this every single time I come here on this trail it never gets old does it truly a thing of beauty
Dodging puddles there, folks. One hand is dodging some good old puddles. This is a mighty muddy section of the trail here. Muddy, wet, and boggy. We're just going off to the side of it, avoiding all of it. Well, we have made it to the Blackwater Junction and we're going to be veering off onto that trail there which is the Beaver River Wetland Trail which you can read right here and we're going to be taking that past Sunderland past Cannington roughly to around Woodville and then from Woodville we're going to take some back roads until we reach Beaverton so I see we start pedaling we are the Beaver River Wetland Trail. We meet again. I rode this trail last September, almost a year ago. Boy, oh boy, is it a thing of beauty. It's a beautiful trail, that is for sure. It looks like they've definitely updated it. It looks like there is a more fresher layer of gravel crushed limestone or whatever it is. They definitely added a fresh coating of uh, gravel here. Last September it was very chunky, very loose gravel. Now it seems very nice, very nicely um, compacted gravel. They added a bench right over here. Nice new benches. It's nice to see that our tax dollars is going towards something, you know, that the public can benefit from. Towards the Trans Canada, or in today's case, the Beaver River Wetland Trail. It's nice to see our tax dollars going towards some infrastructure in our own country. Not sending our money overseas, if you know what I mean. This is gonna be a fun ride.
so we are officially in the township of Sunderland, Ontario. I was not able to record the sign back there. It's buried behind a bunch of tree cover. But I can assure you we are indeed officially in Sunderland, Ontario. I believe Cannington is coming up. We are on a little bit of dirt right now. That's quite odd. I'm guessing they're going to try to resurface this spot here. Well, welcome to Sunderland, Ontario. We're going that way. Back on the trail.
Alright, so we've just reached the very end of the Beaver River Wetland Trail, as you can tell behind me. It is fenced off and it is inaccessible beyond this point here. So we're currently at Beaver River Wetland Trail and the Linden Valley Road. Now I've got to hop onto my GPS and get directions on how to get to Beaverton from this location. So let's get on to that. We are officially in Beaverton, Ontario. Township of Brock, Brock County. in Beaverton, folks. We have arrived. What's that thing over there?
and we're going to figure out what we can check out here in Beaverton. Maybe we'll go by the lake. I think we got out Lake Simcoe not too far up in the distance there. And if we can get some kind of lunch here, some sort of pizza parlor or something like that, we're going to do that. I got some Gatorade in here and I'm going to probably kill it now. I'm heckin' thirsty. It's a hot, rocky day. It took roughly four hours to get from uh, Oak Ridges in Richmond Hill straight to Beaverton. Three and a half to four hours roughly. Have some Stacy pizza chips I packed for myself. And we're gonna check up on our phone or check on our phone any cool places that stick out that show on the map here. I'd love to grab some lunch since we're here too. Because these uh, pizza chips and a uh, few snacks are not gonna cut it for me, unfortunately. If not, we'll try at least to at least get some ice cream. We'll see. Bicycle performed absolutely flawlessly from home to here. Fingers crossed it's going to continue to perform like that. Very, very impressed. Check on my phone now, which places in this little town get my attention, such as the lake. And if we can find a pizza parlor for lunch, we are going to do so.
pausing ride. We just ordered some pizza just across the street there, but it's not quite ready yet. We might just eat it here at this little park. There's a bench down there, so why not eat it right over here? And maybe we'll wrap up this little tour, if you will. The moment I've been waiting for, let's crack this box open and see what we got. Not gonna need that. Hey, hey, not bad. Small, thick crust cheese pizza just for me out here in Beaverton. I worked up quite the appetite. I think I'm gonna kill that whole pizza. Let's crack open the a w root beer. Nice and cold, baby. Oh. Can't forget me napkins. Always gotta take a picture of your food, don't you? There we go. So so far we are 64.4 miles into the ride. See how this stuff tastes. Wow, that is surprisingly very good. Very good. Mmm, oh yeah. That's some good pizza. Could have put a little bit more tomato sauce. Other than that, this is some good pizza. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Good old Beaverton pizza. There's a little creek back there we're gonna check out just after we're done our lunch here. Or a river. It looks more like a little creek. A creek.
Now with these two side drinks and the pizza itself, I specifically asked for a size small with double cheese and thick crust. Altogether, this whole thing came out to $14 and change Canadian. It's not, it's not too, too bad for a size small. It just looked like a little mom and pop um, pizza parlor here in town, here in Beaverton. I'm not going to bore you with me eating this delicious pizza here, but I'm going to try and finish it. And then right after we're finished it, we're going to check out the little creek behind us. And maybe we'll end the video there. I really don't think I'll have any room for dessert. They got a nice ice cream shop here in town, but I think I'm going to be way too full to get that. So rather than excuse me, me boring you eating this pizza, you'll see me at the creek in just a minute. Just as that train is passing by folks, I think we're going to end the video right here on this beautiful little creek, the creek. So if you like this sort of content, don't be shy, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Like the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notification bell turned on so you never miss a beat when I upload a new adventure like today. Very nice quaint little town of Beaverton here in Ontario. The ride here was pretty epic, I'm pretty sure the ride back is going to be just as epic. So. I did see quite a few clouds roll in here, but they do not call for rain today. So I'm hoping the weather channel is going to be accurate for a change in my favor. So yeah, that's all I wrote. That's all she wrote for Beaverton, folks. Don't be shy. Drop a comment in the comment section below. below. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel with the notification bell turned on. And until the next adventure, folks, I will catch you later.